I'm rocking my G-Shock. 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 I'm rocking my G-Shock.
on this page, you're able to see the number of steps taken and the number of calories burned, as well as some GPS information that is displayed on the map. Here, you're able to set up your timers that will sync with your watch. On this page, you'll be able to set up your stopwatch. Next is the world time setup, which lets you sync your watch with different world times. Lastly, you have the alarm and signal settings, where you'll be able to send information to your watch to set up all alarms and your signal. While the phone is synced with your watch, if you push this button here and hold it for like that, you notice it flashes time in case what for, for whatever reason your time and date become out of sync, you push that D button and it'll pull the time directly from your watch to keep it accurate and then sync. Another tip, if you press and hold the D button for about five seconds, you enter the find mode. Keep pushing it, keep holding it for five seconds. Push the find mode. That will trigger an alarm. So, and will let you find your phone wherever it is. Exit like that. And there you have it. That's a cool little function in case you misplace your phone. Just got to hold the D button for five seconds and you'll help you find your phone. All right. So with your step tracker, you have, you can set up different goals. If you push the A button, the adjust button, like so. On the bottom here, you have your goal. In this case, it's um, 1,000 steps. You could set that in increments of 20 or 30, I'm sorry, 10. 150, so forth, and you can use D to go down. It's currently set to a thousand. Okay, so that's how you set your um, your step tracker goal. Exit out of there, like so. This button also lets you set your time manually. So push the mode button, and now you're entering the adjust mode for the time and date. 12 hour format and your key, mute or on if you want it to beep every time you press the buttons. Your light, you want it one second, three seconds. There you go. And back to your speed on, uh, your step tracker um, goal. Exit that, and you're back to your home time. Some additional information about this watch. Retails for $100 in the US. I think it's $120, a little bit more in, in, the, in the Japan. It's a cool watch. It comes in different colorways. I'll show you guys a picture of all the, the available Step Tracker watches. There's also a limited edition version of this watch. This one in particular has a nice neon green um, display circle around the glass. A nice green accent there. The green metal button for your um, Step Tracker. On the back, you have some comfortable little grooves here that kind of fit your, your wrist very well. Here's the back plate, GBD 800. Model 3464, that's the module. Bluetooth technology. Got some perforated um, details on the band. Let me show you guys there. I'm not sure if it's for helping you grip the watch or just for comfort or just aesthetics, but they're there nevertheless. Okay. The band itself has got a cool little mechanism that you lock the watch in place with the band. That little clasp inside there that you see on the top. Once you put the watch on your wrist, push it into the groove and let the watch band keep from moving. Let me uh, demonstrate that. Push through, lock it, put the band in, and push down, and the, the strap keeper locks in place from the pressure from your wrist. When your wrist is inside there, it lifts up, and the band lifts. It doesn't move as easy, prevent your watch from falling. Also keep in mind, in order for the watch to be accurate, the watch does have to be pretty, um, snug on your wrist can't be moving too much because it'll um, give you false readings and um, that won't be helpful okay let me show you the backlight on this puppy
There you go. Plentiful light. Very nice. Clean design. Clean, legible backlight. There you have it. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. And that's pretty much it with this G-Shock GB. What is it? GBD? Let me make that. GBD 800. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, if you're in the market for a uh, step tracker, this will be one of the options you consider. There's a lot of options on the market. The Apple Watch has a lot of functionality with um, exercise um, apps. You also have the Fitbit. Um, but this is cool. G-Shock is uh, stepping up their game and offering some technology that a lot of people need. So there you have it. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next review. Till next time, this is Chavo. This is Chicago. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Money on my mind, I got my G-Shock watch. Plus I'm super fly. I'm rocking my G-Shock. I'm rocking my super shot. I'm rocking my.